Hey, all you hard-working snow fighters out there. I got my son Kyler here today, and we're gonna tackle this snow pile here. So we got some more snow coming in Monday night, Tuesday morning, and we're gonna get rid of this snow here so that uh, we have room for the next event. What we're gonna do here is use our 110 horsepower ag tractor to blow this pile up and over those trees and down into the pond that you can't see. So that's our method of snow removal here. This entire lot comes over to this curb line and into this corner. And then when we fill this up, we have to blow it. So it's more efficient to do that than to haul it somewhere and truck it out. So it's only one piece of equipment, snow blower on the back of the tractor. So snow blowers are pretty easy to come by and it's easy to do so Tyler and I are gonna get to it show me where you're gonna sit in this tractor yeah, it's got a nice little pilot seat here sweet dude what do you think of that awesome awesome are you gonna drive this thing maybe okay I did last time. <laughs> we'll see you did what you let me use you let me plow last time I let him plow, he says. Okay, well, don't try that at home. All right, so we got our 6125M. It's probably like 115 at the PTO, 115 horsepower at the PTO. So we got a 1,000 RPM PTO shaft here. And this is important to understand when you get in the high horsepower, high torque tractors, um, it's not gonna be 540 anymore. Um, it's gonna be 1,000 RPM because you can transfer more torque at higher RPM. Um, then we go, she got our cage system on the front. This sucker is 14 feet. And this is how we plow this couple acre lot here. We get all the snow pushed back and you'll see that um, as we're blowing here. So we're gonna drive this over, get the snowblower hooked up. Quite the army of uh, skid steers and cage plows right there. And here's our blowers. Which one are we gonna choose? The green one. The green one. We had to make a pit stop at the local holiday here on the way back. There's maybe only one thing that a little 10 year old boy likes more than equipment and that would be... Gummy worms. Gummy worms. So let's go get some. Who says you can't park a 6125 in a sparking spot? All right, we're back at the snow pile that we're gonna blow. And because this has been sitting here for weeks, we're gonna take the blade and break this up a little bit, kind of windrow it out into the parking lot so that it's easier to blow. The goal of breaking this pile up is not to just actually move all the snow, but actually just to, just to loosen it up enough so that the snowblower can take a nice big bite out of the bank. So, you don't have to try to move the whole pile with the with the plow. Just uh, just make little notches in there so that you can get that loosened up enough so that the snowblower doesn't just stop when it hits that bank. You can see how much abuse this uh, kind of process puts on the equipment. You know, we got this down pressure going on. Look at that guy! Boom. Normally, I wouldn't condone this type of operation on our equipment. But, um, hey, we got cage equipment, it's tough. All right, Kyler, get over there and show them how that axle's up in the air. Elevate, man, look at that, down pressure. Again, I wouldn't usually condone this kind of abuse to this equipment, but it's cage stuff. We test it hard. That's what a cage undercarriage allows you to do. I'm going to show you all the best way to break up this pile using your plow. Uh, we're going to break up this pile so that it's not so chunky and we can ride into it with the snowblower. Well, we have to loosen it up first. So let me show you the best trick that I know. you got to take little pieces at a time, start at the top, and by moving your plow up and down, kind of keep it going so that you're not sidetracked into the pile too much but it starts to break and loosen up all those chunks 
it's by just keeping that plow motion up and down constantly. The tractor will maintain traction in the snow and it'll really loosen up that pile and you won't get thrown to the side as quickly. pile and you don't know what's in there so we got a big old big old four by six in our snow blower and it sheared all the pins kind of disappointed I was hoping to get through this pile and this mess without having to shear pins but here we are we're gonna replace them and then get back to it I bet you guys want to see what I found over here in the snow pile Tyler, what's that thing sticking out of the snow? A cone. Those are one of the worst things to run over with your snowblower, believe me. It'll shear pins, get all bound up in there and bend stuff up. Don't want to do that. Sure glad I found that guy. Here we are driving a... Wait, who's driving? Are you driving? Hey, how old are you? Hey, you got a 10-year-old driving a 115 horsepower tractor? Don't tell us mom. So we're going to sign out here. And I just want to say thank you to all my sponsors, which are... Wait a minute, I don't have any sponsors. Huh. Go figure. And thanks to my camera crew. There's my camera crew. I paid them in peanuts, literally. We got some M&M &M peanuts at the gas station. So, out here having fun with my son Tyler. God bless y'all.